What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Brandon. We got a quick video today. It's not welding related. I need to install some tie downs in the back of my truck. This is my 2018 F-150. It's got the 3.5 liter EcoBoost motor. It's an XLT. It's got uh, tinted windows. I just did like rain guards. I had a four and a half inch super lift put in it and I'm running Michelin Defender tires in their 295 70R18. These are actually the stock wheels. These Fords have what are called crash bars in them right here and with this setup and this tire combination there's no rubbing, there's no trimming, there's no scraping. You don't have to cut anything out. Sometimes guys will cut these crash bars out. There's none of that with this setup. It was one of the very few systems out there that when you bring the truck in for an alignment, it uses all the factory alignment geometry. Because it's bringing everything down four and a half inches, all the geometry for the front end stays all the same. So the driveline axles are all the same. The only thing that changes uh, angle a little different would be the drive shaft from the differential up to the transfer case. It aligns to factory specs and it had real good uh, reviews and I opted for the setup that has the uh, Fox, uh, Fox shocks so this thing rides super nice. But this is what we're working on today guys. These are like some tie downs that you can put in the back of your truck. This truck comes factory with in here that little tie down anchor there is one in that corner there's one in this corner, there's another one right up there, and there's another one right there. I want to be able to tie down into some other locations. So they make a factory option that goes here and here, and another one here and here. Well, that's what I have here today, and that's what we're going to put in. These brackets screw right into those factory locations, and it has these little T-handle pieces that hook into this, and they have actual locks with it. So apparently those holes that are in the factory bed now, they're not tapped. So you're just supposed to wind the screws through using an impact gun. Well, that didn't work. I ended up stripping out the factory screws. I ended up buying some aftermarket screws from a company called Biltright. Everything's all made in the USA, and it's a hardware kit specifically for these tie downs, and they have a lifetime warranty. It's kind of neat because this hardware comes with four packages of hardware within this container, and each package of four, because there's four uh, bolts per bracket, each one contains its own driver bit. So I'm going to put the bit in one of these driver holders. It has like a little O-ring inside this cap. Put that in, put this in here. The magnetic ones are nice, but if they don't have this collar and the bit gets stuck in the fastener and you go to pull it out, it'll actually leave the bit inside the screw and then it'll come out. This right here prevents that happening. and it locks the bit into the driver piece. All right, let's give this a go. Now I just got three more to go and these screws were like 12 bucks from this company built right and definitely worth the money because these things are going in awesome. So I did the back two using the same bit. Now I just uh, changed the bit because I don't want to end up dulling it or breaking it. I figure I'm pushing my chances. These are going in uh, really hard, so these are going to hold good. This is what they look like installed, guys. It's got a key, uh, and they're all key to like. There's four of them, so that you could actually take these off if you didn't want these sticking into your bed, and it locks them right on there, which is pretty slick. It's got holes, so if you wanted to put like a bungee cord or something like that through there. And it's also got a hook here. It's all metal construction. Yeah, these things are awesome. I'll put down in the description what these are rated for as far as like strength wise. I'm not sure, but they feel pretty solid. I would data, I'd tie a motorcycle down into this and I wouldn't be worried about it. So I'll show you how these go in. Yeah, these are nice. Just gives you another added tie down point. So now I got one there, there. I'll have another one there and the factory one down there. Now at first these operate a little dry and probably they just need to be used. So stick the key in there and then turn this off to the side in the back. 
when it's this position is locked. So turn it off to the side like that. Then this piece right here fits up into this piece right here. Just like that. And then push this down and turn it. And that's locked on there so nobody could steal it. Don't really know as if I'd have a reason why I'd want to take this off. So I'm just gonna leave these on here all the time. Just keep them just like this. So now I can tie this little box that I have right back to here. And what this is, just a cargo box, keeps your stuff when you throw stuff in the back of your truck. So when you hit your brakes, it doesn't go all the way to the front because I have a tonneau cover on this. So if something slides up there, it's kind of inconvenient to roll the tonneau cover up. Wow, we're just gonna make it. The sun's just starting to set right there. So we're just gonna make it in time. So I've got this all tied up. I took all the slack, I adjusted this properly. I really love this container right here. And I've wrapped it all up nice and tight. And so it's all affixed. So when I unhook it, like let's say I wanna haul something, I can either take it out or I can slide it all the way up there and hitch it to the front uh, tie offs. Or I can just hitch it up back here. And I'll show you how slick this works. I like it's got a handle so you can like carry it and just grab the hook which is right here and snap it into that right there and that keeps that from going forward. Then I'll do the same thing on the other side and there we go. All secured. All lashed in there nice. And that's it guys. It was literally that simple. Probably took me in real time probably about a half an hour to do all this and it's just a real super simple thing that you can do uh, especially if you haul stuff with your truck and use it like a pickup and one other thing that's super awesome guys if you have little kids or well, not so little kids but this is a dz tailgate assist let me show you some watch so some of these trucks actually have the tailgate assist on them but watch you can actually let the tailgate go down and it doesn't go slamming down which makes it super nice and this is what uh, does that it literally that was like maybe a 15 minute bolt on deal goes there and it bolts on right over here pretty easy and that's all there's to it guys not a welding video but i figured you'd appreciate it anyway so like comment subscribe and i'll see you next week see ya